we're LexCraft, and we provide legal financing for early stage venture backed startups. My name is Tiani, and I'm an attorney with eight years' experience. Prior to my master's degree at Cornell Tech, I was running a legal consulting firm in South Africa where we worked with small businesses and entrepreneurs. So I'm very experienced in this field. And now doing my master's at Cornell with the focus on law, technology, and entrepreneurship is helping me get a much wider view. Uh, part of my interests are in making sure that the way that legal services are delivered is really going to infuse more technology. And I'm very excited about our project. My name is Max and I'm an operations research student at Cornell Tech. Um, I'm an experienced data scientist and hope to bring a little bit of technical expertise to a traditionally non-technical field. Hi, I'm Scooter. I'm a computer science candidate here at Cornell Tech. Uh, my father is a lawyer and business owner and my brother is in law school, so I have a lot of secondhand experience with the legal industry. I'm interested in the intersection of law and business. Let's meet Stacy. Stacy has worked at a big company for a long time, but has decided she wants to go out and start her own corporate travel advisory company. She has raised $100,000 from an angel investor to start her business and now needs to draw up some contracts for airlines and hotels. Unfortunately, to go to a startup lawyer to get these contracts done well, it will cost Stacy $15,000. Stacy cannot afford this, but doesn't want to settle for lower quality contracts or have to use online templates. She knows cheap legal help ends up being expensive in the long run. Now let's meet Mike. Mike is a startup lawyer at a mid-sized firm. He knows Stacy believes in her business and wants to help her. However, his firm doesn't have the runway to offer deferred payment and he needs to make sure he has solid collections from his clients. He wishes he could help, but unfortunately is stuck. And this is where LexCraft comes in because we believe in Stacy too. We'll offer her a loan to settle her account with Mike. We pay him in full and upfront on her behalf, which allows them to work together. When Stacy raises her next round of funding, she will repay her the loan, but in the meantime, she must service the interest. We primarily target B2B startups like Stacy's that sign corporate clients and need expertise offered by lawyers like Mike to ensure that they're able to secure the agreements, which helps them in turn be successful. In addition, Mike no longer has to wait for the deal to close or potentially face writing off a large chunk of fees, thereby missing his targets after all his hard work. The models that are available for startups and how they can access legal services at the moment looks like this. Either they can get into a deferred payment plan with the, with the large law firm that will give them a period of 12 to 18 months to settle their account or upon, they, upon raising funding, then they can settle their account. Next, we have a retainer, which is offered mostly by mid-sized law mid-sized firms or specialized startup law firms where they offer a monthly or quarterly retainer. Then we have your subscription plans, which are offered by your services um, online, which connect businesses to lawyers. But these really focus more on small business matters, not really high tech, high growth tech startups. Then you can find your flat fee, template platforms, or just a good old Google search. But as we know, these might not be adequate and sufficient to be able to capture all matters that startups go through. So why us? At LexCraft, we realized that access to legal services isn't equal, especially when it comes to startup, to startup law. And we have found in our research that the biggest law firms that focus on startups law that can afford to offer these deferred payment plans typically accept clients that have been referred to them by top incubators or venture capitalists or, to, or um, our lawyers from other practice areas. This then makes it for a very small and close bias driven network. What we want to do is to give these startups access to a network that they traditionally wouldn't be part of and also expand the type of work that lawyers get to do. Well, startup specific, our services are geared towards driving the most success, the most successful startup clients. Lawyers in our network are people that have been that have expertise in this space and are dedicated to ensuring the success of startups. So we have lawyers that are experts in matters like technology transactions or intellectual property law or SaaS agreements, which are the type of agreements that are typically entered into by B2B businesses. Finally, we're dependable for our law firm partners. Our partners can expect and rely on guaranteed on-time payment on the negotiated rates. Thereby, this gives these law firms peace of mind and about their collections and sustainability as a practice. So <clears throat> investments in startups have surpassed $130 billion in the last two years. 
All of these investments were made into startups that received at some point legal services throughout their history. At a granular level, this means that on a series A round, a startup would spend around $60,000 on legal fees for the fundraising documents. This is, comes after and excludes all the documents and every, all the work that needs to happen prior to this arrangement. In the legal industry, quality and scope of legal work are generally inversely proportional to accessibility of those services. The most accessible and cheapest, the online services, offer very narrow and often limited legal services. On the other end, the firms that offer the greatest scope and quality of legal work are typically inaccessible, requiring high payment upfront or only offering deferred payment to a few clients with the best connections. LexGraph will upend this typical model. What we offer is high accessibility to the best legal work for a larger range of customers. So what sets LexGraph apart in this competitive landscape? Primarily, it will be our selection criteria. Right now, the biggest firms identify clients for their deferred payment plan through connections and short coffee chats. We know this process can be improved by introducing a smart data-driven criteria system. We can look at certain predictors from a company such as size, growth, business plans, customers, um, industry, and industry, and model the company's trajectory and likelihood of repayment. We've begun to build out this model on publicly available loan repayment data sets online, and we'll augment this data as we become, as we have more access to startup life cycles. We also offer transparent legal pricing. Right now, it can be hard for startups to understand how much time they've spent with a law firm, and through a portal we will build, this will no longer be ambiguous. Finally, we offer a diversity of services. Unlike a single firm with a single specialization, this loan will be able to be used at multiple firms with differing specialities, with differing specialities. Whether a client needs help with IP or contracts, we have the network to foster that. So what will we use the prize money from this competition for? We would use it to start marketing to and finding pilot clients on the startup side. Thank you very much. We look forward to hearing back from you.